welcome to another video so yesterday i did a video where i was talking about how to get ahead of 99 percent of retail traders and i broke down essentially what happens behind the scenes right essentially what happens behind the chart so i'm going to elaborate on that because yesterday i only touched on indices but today i'll also be touching on currencies and how that actually affects the forex market or the foreign exchange market because i only touched on how it affects indices right so without any further ado uh this chart in front of you or well, this is bitcoin uh so this is my short position on bitcoin um and then if we go on to gbp jpy because that is the one that i specifically want to do or before we get to gbp jpy let we do let us do the japanese nikkei index right or the tokyo stock market exchange index uh this is the japanese index so this this you could you could view it as similar to what the nasdaq is the what the nasdaq the us 30 or the s p 500 is to the us so it's the same thing to japan this is what is their stock market index right and as you can see it has been going up right remember now before we even get into the nitty gritties of this video remember what i said yesterday if 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 the stock market is going up which means that businesses are doing well in the sense that businesses are making profits which means that the stock price is going higher of the businesses so that also feeds into the stock market if you now at first glance looking at a chart if you're seeing that the the, the stock the chart is to the upside or the trend is to the upside what are your thoughts right so share them in the in the comments below what are your thoughts do you think that the japanese or the bank of japan are they cutting interest rates are they hiking interest rates or are they performing what i touched on lastly which was a quantitative easing are they buying bonds right so based on you based on based on your understanding of the video that i did yesterday what do you think they're currently doing right by looking at the chart but obviously i'll have to tell you what is happening right so essentially they are buying bonds right so they are buying bonds because their interest rates are kept at a negative which is negative 0.1 so which is why you're seeing the japanese stock market index going up so much right so it's a no-brainer once you once you get to understand the true direction of the market it really really becomes a no-brainer so if we go back to our diagram that we did yesterday remember what we said if inflation is above is above the target they opt to hike interest rates so they can push inflation back down to the target. If inflation is below the target, they cut interest rates to in attempt to do what? To stimulate spending, borrow consumers and businesses to borrow money, start spending, and that should push inflation higher towards the 2% target, right? So now, if you remember what I just showed you of the, of the Nikkei index or the Japanese stock market index, it has been going up. So that means that what? For it to go up, interest rates should be down or interest rates should have been in the negative territory or they are either doing what they are either performing quantitative easing which is the buying of bonds right and that is essentially what they've been doing so where am i going with this today we had the bank of japan at 5 a.m south african time we had the bank of japan's uh interest rate meeting right where essentially they came out as expected to a, to a certain extent so they held their interest rates at negative 0.1 percent which means that their interest rates are still in the negative territory right so if interest rates are in the negative territory they are not hiking they are not cutting then obviously that means that the borrowing costs are very low and the borrowing to borrow money is cheap so that will result in businesses borrowing money consumers borrowing money and that should stimulate growth and that should stimulate what the stock market indexes or the stock market market index in this case so that is what we have there and then but here were here were some of the of the expectations so i've done a couple of videos specifically on on social media like ig uh tiktok so i haven't posted it here on youtube but where it was last year in 2023 around november december where i was talking about i i'm anticipating or expecting that 2024 the japanese yen or the japanese currency will be the biggest mover for 2024 right why because they are the only currency that still have interest rates in the negative territory everyone else has been hiking interest rates since 2022 and they are the only ones that still have what interest rates in the negative territory right so eventually why why do they still have interest rates in the negative territory because they've been waiting for two for their inflation to 
persistently above the 2% target. We've had inflation above 2% target for over, yeah, close to two years now, but then they still wanted it to be in a stable manner. So, but but that is the reason why I, I started transitioning since last year around November that I'm looking to buy the Japanese yen or I'm anticipating that it will be the outperformer in 2024. So today, during the meeting, uh, the Bank of Governor, after the meeting, he uh, during a press conference, he came out and he stated that the likelihood of achieving the 2% inflation target is gradually rising. So that is something positive because that's what we want to hear. Because they specifically say that if they achieve that, then they will look to do what? Then they will look to hike interest rates or look not necessarily hike interest rates, but look to shift their position when it comes to interest rates, right? So that is the first statement that he that he said and and we will have more data at the april meeting compared to march even if real wages are negative a policy change is possible if the outlook is positive right so these are all an encouraging words even though they did not change interest rates but for the fact that he came out and he started saying this that now there is a likelihood that we will achieve our two percent target because price is already or inflation is already above that but if it says that there is a likelihood that we will achieve it it means that he's now confident that inflation will be in the region of two percent and above so what would be the next step hiking interest rates right and then how would the how how does that affect the japanese currency so when it comes to the currency whenever interest rates are going up the currency goes up whenever interest rates are going down the currency goes down so it goes in the opposite direction to the indice when whenever interest rates are going down the indice the stock market benefits but whenever interest rates are going up the stock market suffers right why because borrowing costs and then of course businesses start to struggle because higher interest rates are eating into the profit margins of businesses so then that means that earnings will also drop so if earnings drops then stock market will also drop right so that is the reasoning behind high interest rates but for currency it attracts investments and then of course that is why during interest rate increases or hikes the currency will go up or during interest rate cuts the currency will go down so in this instance that is why i've been looking to buy that japanese yen right because i'm expecting them to shift from negative interest rates and buying bonds to eventually hiking interest rates so that is why i've been looking to buy the japanese yen and then another state another point here was that more firms have decided on wage hikes this year compared to last year this is a strong hint or sorry a strong shift in the tone or narrative compared to to previous meetings and and should boost the japanese yen well this is just my statement this is just my summaries that i do on a daily of all the news releases that we have uh, but essentially i just wanted to highlight this to you guys and to show you that this is the reason why i'm looking to trade uh by buying the japanese yen not yet that i'm fully in but I am. I, I feel that things have been sh have been shifting towards that, and I've seen that transition since last year around November, December, and that is how I that is how I I have positioned myself by just understanding what I explained to you guys yesterday and implementing it. Right. So it's, I'm not just talking here. I'm, I'm I'm showing you guys things that I do on a daily or that I implement on a daily when it comes to my trading. Right. Not only looking at the chart, but also focusing on this. So when we had these news like i have explained them to you if you're not familiar with uh with fundamentals trading or using fundamentals to get the true direction of the market well this is positive for the japanese yen or it was positive for the japanese yen even though they did not change interest rates but because they started talking in this manner or in this tone that resulted in a positive uh reaction from the japanese yen and then that is when obviously i went short on gbp jpy so now we might be saying why specifically gbp jpy it also has to do with fundamentals the reason why i'm short on gbp jpy it also has to do with what with fundamentals so like i said yesterday technicals that's the easiest part you don't really need to learn anything new when it comes to technicals but at a first glance we have something simple here we just have a supply this was a four hour supply you can call this a supply if you want if you like you can use this and say this is a resistance here it's up to you whatever technical strategy that you use and and that that works for you stick to that but as long as you know the true direction based on fundamentals then when we had the news let me go into the one hour when we had the news it was around this point 
right at 5 a.m like i said news came out remarks were positive uh, or encouraging uh for the fact that maybe we might really get this uh change in policy uh from the bank of japan in 2024 instead of cutting or having low interest rates then start cutting interest rates after april or march so that reinforced that belief and that is why i sold as you can see here i sold that uh yeah as you can see if i look if i extend the wick as you can see it's at this 5 a.m candle right here so it was during the release so that is essentially how you can trade news and obviously you don't trade every news release but you need to just do have an understanding of how the news actually impact that specific currency or that specific economy so yeah this is how i just went short on uh, on on gbp jpy of course the reason why i sold gbp it's also based on fundamentals that the currency is weak if we look at the actual true direction based on fundamentals but i won't go into go into deep on that based on this video i just wanted to explain to you and show you how the actual how interest rates affect currency so for, for a currency if you if they expect it to move into closer to the side of increasing interest rates it is positive for that currency if it moves to the side of cutting interest rates it is negative for that currency which is what we're seeing currently as with the dollar yes the dollar is strengthening but not as much as it has been during 2022 when they were consistently hiking interest rates right so that is what we're seeing there so i just wanted to give you guys that explainer so that what i explained to you makes sense from a standpoint of fundament of, of indices and also from a standpoint of currencies and show i showed you with the stock market index of the japanese which is the nikkei 22 i showed you that how it has been going up why has it been going up because interest rates are low on the negative side and also they have been buying bonds which is what which is suppressing interest rates so that is why we saw the stock market indice going up but the japanese currency has been going down all along which is why it has been the worst performer since 2021 right but now i'm expecting that things will change based on how i am viewing fundamentals and based on what i am anticipating or expecting so what is the next step here the next step is essentially waiting for the wage negotiations in march april uh, if we get that and that comes out greater than expected so like last year they had a very good uh, negotiation when it comes to wage to wages it came out at 3.58 which was the biggest i think in over a decade uh, a biggest hike or increase in wages so if this year as well we also get another positive one uh, then that will definitely result in a rise in 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 the japanese yen so in wrapping or in closing uh, let me just open this uh for everyone so uh, maybe if maybe if i show you this file then it might it might make some bit of sense uh, in terms of what i'm talking about or what i'm expecting right so i did this yesterday so this is for japan right and specifically you get to understand why i am looking to uh, okay let's close this one so that it does not slow down everything so let's close that so you also get to understand why i am actually looking at um, looking at inflation specifically paying attention to inflation and what the central bank is saying about inflation right because if this can load quicker um okay so if this can load quicker i was gonna show you a screenshot that i that i placed on this document here uh, which actually ex which is from the previous meeting so that is from the statement from the previous meeting but let us see let us see the takeaway here so like i had said i'd said that tomorrow which was of course this was on monday that uh, we have the meeting and i'm not expecting a policy change partly due to pure to poor data so far and core inflation not stably being above two percent uh, as the boj would want i will be focusing on any change in the wording tomorrow and the data in the weeks to come so like i said i was just focusing on the change in the wording and that is what we got based on what i've just showed you because he was it was he was showing positive expectations that they will they would eventually what achieve their two percent target as the bank of japan so that is essentially why uh, i i i bought the japanese yen against the gbp right or the pound uh so this was this was the statement uh, so essentially it says we, it will continue well they are referring to them it will continue expanding the monetary base until the year-on-year -year, uh, rate of increase 
in the observed CPI or items less fresh food, this is core CPI, exceeds 2% and stays above the target in a stable manner. So central banks tell you what they want. They tell you their goals. And if those goals are met, then they should keep their promises because like they said they will continue expanding which means they will continue buying bonds or keeping interest rates low until they achieve two percent consistent con in a stable manner they tell you what they want so why would you try and guess in terms of where the direction is what should happen that is why i say this is how you find the true direction in the market and if you learn this apply this and and actually not master but get good at it it will actually make your trading very very easy and much more simpler because you have a framework you know where to find your direction where to find your data facts you know where to find facts and you will eliminate the whole guesswork when it comes to your trading right but that is what i wanted to share with you guys in today's video the reason why i actually bought or sold gbp jpy buying the japanese yen right so i hope this video was helpful and like i said let me know in the comments if uh if you found well if you found any value or you learned something from this video and if you'd like me to explain anything more further in detail just let me know in the comments as well and i'll clearly do that for you guys so don't forget to like subscribe and share the video and of course press the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload another video until the next video cheers guys